What up guys, welcome to my assumptions video. So how this video works is um, on my stories, I asked you guys to write a no! bunch of assumptions no! about me and you guys wrote all of them and now I respond to them. Either I confirm them or I debunk them or I give you just more background information. I think Gio already did hers. So now it's time to do mine. You wanna do it with me? <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, first off, Mother King Yay! says, Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Mother yeah. Cuny says, You act professional. When you... <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get to this video. You act professional when you have to. And that's very Yay! true. Yay! For the most part, um, I really try to just live life and have fun and be down to earth and not to be too uptight. Um, I think that's the reason why we all got into like this more alternative type of work so we don't have to wear a shirt and tie and suit all the time and uh, but we do have our meetings um, I do try to act as professional as possible because I do want people I do want to make the right impression and for people to take me the right way um Ray he Chul 0621 says good dad and cool dude I don't know um, that's hard for me to confirm for myself but if that's what you think of me thank you so much I try really hard to be a good dad White Beaner G, not an assumption, but how did you lose all your body fat? Well, um, so I'm an athlete and I have different roller coasters, different goals. Sometimes I'm really just trying to bulk and get strong. So I purposely gain like 30 to 50 pounds and then sometimes I have new goals like I wanna be better at basketball or run faster or martial arts and then I would uh, lose that weight and <laughs> I do it on purpose. You just knock over the keyboard. <laughs> you decided right now is the perfect time to play baseball. Um, Reggie Acosta, you love the money. I'm not too sure what that means. Um, I'm a big fan of money because I think money can solve a lot of problems and it opens up doors in life. But I don't know what you love the money means. I don't know if that's like a slang term. Poe the Panda says, make animal noises when you're alone. Actually, I don't. I don't make animal noises. I do talk to myself, but I'm, I don't go like, or like, woo, 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 and any stuff like that. Franco Saliage says, uh, I assume you are a good person. I try really hard to be. I don't know if I am to certain people's standards, but I try really hard to be. Um, Robinson M, you're 4'11". Uh -huh. No, I'm not. I'm actually 5'9". Um, I just got measured for my, uh, my health insurance and like the will and stuff that we have to, like the minute you become a parent, your financial advisor or your accountant is gonna tell you, hey, you have to set up a will, you have to set up like, uh, they call it estate planning, where like, in case you pass away, who's gonna be in charge of raising the kid and who's gonna be in charge of the finances for the kid? A lot of grown up stuff and uh, I just had to get my blood taken and all that stuff. Not for cat. You've probably spent some time in the cell. No, I've never been to jail ever well actually i've been in holding once um and that was there for i think like eight hours and i'll do a story on that if you guys are interested but uh long story short i got arrested on one of me and jill's first dates they pulled me over they found something in the system i had a warrant and then they threw me in jail for like eight hours and then they cleared it up official kira lifestyle you motivation me to do a lot of things in my life and believe on myself doesn't matter what thank you um, I think that was just a comment. I don't even think that was an assumption. Taika is now just straight beating everything up with the <laughs> That guy's freaking nuts. He makes me so happy. Chrissy, yeah, that. That you masturbate more to porn instead of having sex. Actually, that is completely false. Um, in the beginning, I did do that way more. I, I think like a lot of dudes, we jack off way more than we have sex. But it got to a point where me and Gio, um, and, and you'll hear on our podcast, that we got in a pretty dark patch in our relationship. And we wanted to amend everything. You know, amend our emotions, mend spiritually, mend sexually. And one of the rules that we created was we could only jack off both of us the same number of times that we have sex. So we have to be intimate with each other because I think a lot of times, like with, especially with this porn generation, it's so easy to have access to porn. It's really easy for dudes to just go off and then like finish themselves off in the corner and now they don't have that sex drive for their significant other and there's couples that go months without having sex. 
And this is, of course, after the honeymoon phase. Like when you're really trying to work into the deep, dark parts of your relationship when you're two years in, three years in, a lot of couples that we've talked to, they experience this. So for us, we want to make sure me and Gio are intellectually there, emotionally there. Oh no. Also, sexually there. I think Taika, bet you bang the back of your head, huh? Yeah, you did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we, um, so we made it a big rule to not, uh, to not jack off more than we actually have sex. And when we have sex, it's very communicative too. It's not like, we don't do it like, oh yeah, we're just gonna try to fuck the shit out of each other. Like we really try to be intimate and try to make love and be personal and all that. So um, good, good assumption though. Uh, Han Sung Yi, you take napkins from fast food places and keep a stack in your car. Hell yeah, I do. That's the Asian part of me I can't let go of. Anytime I go to like, excuse me, in and out Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, all those places, I always grab a fat stack of napkins and I purposely only use like half of it and the other half I keep in my car, just the way my dad taught me. Adriana says, you want three kids. No, well actually, I secretly kind of do, but I think just with my lifestyle, two is gonna keep me really busy, so we're probably gonna stop at two. Um, Vasilis Malas, you are a meanie to unsuccessful people. I don't think so. I really, I don't think I'm a meanie to unsuccessful people, and how, how do you define unsuccessful people? Because to me, anyone that is on the path to doing what they love, I think that's pretty successful. You don't have to, it shouldn't be defined by money. But, um, and most of the time I try my best to help a lot of people get on the path to do what they love. Like half of our team in both Barbell Brigade and JK are people that came in um, unprepared for their field and we help align them. So hopefully I'm not a meanie. Um, <laughs> say something. Tell them my assumption. <laughs> you freaking crazy. Daddy. Daddy. Uh, okay. Uh, Sethi Hume says, you were a hoe in high school and through college. No, I wasn't. Actually, uh, Gio, I believe, is either my fourth or fifth person I have ever been with in my entire life. And I've only slept with people that were my uh, girlfriends. Although, if I were to go back in time, I think I should have hoed it up and really learn about myself and get comfortable sexually. Because um, I think I finally got comfortable sexually probably midway through the relationship with Gio. I was still very private, very uncomfortable, very awkward, and didn't know that I could ask for things during sex. And I just feel like I was so sexually inexperienced. So if I were to go back, I would hoe it the fuck up. Um, JVR Dino Doe Ann says, you don't give a fuck about being embarrassed. I actually do. I do give a fuck about being embarrassed, but I'm not embarrassed easily. But there are a few things that do embarrass me. And uh, I can't really think about, I, I don't know what they are, but I do remember times where like my face turns red, probably with like my mom or something like that. But I don't embarrass easily, but I do still feel that emotion. Um, Kyle Tran 5, Gio's mom hates you. Uh, on the contrary, she actually really loves me and I think she calls me her Peter Pan because I never really grow up and I'm her breath of fresh air. Because I think coming from like, look <laughs> at this guy, he's going down the slide backwards. <laughs> this guy's nuts. Um, I think coming from like a more traditional like Latin uh, family, a lot of people, there's a lot of gossip, there's a lot of shit talking and I think I'm pretty positive and vibrant in that way and so she really likes uh, how I kind of I keep that going and then gives her perspective on life because she'll watch news right like a lot of people do and news is just always complaining about some shit this person sucks this person got killed for this the freeway whatever and then she's she's like kind of chiming in on it but I always always flip the script on it and she's like oh yeah I never thought of it that way um, Rebel Princess 1214 says you aren't as animated at home as you are on JK News and sometimes that leaves you drained. That is 100% true. By the time I get home from JK News, I am exhausted and um, at home, like you're just being yourself, you know, but on camera, you have to kind of be a slightly elevated version of yourself or else it'll come off boring. Like if, if, I, if my vlogs, my normal saying hi to someone is probably like this, right? And if I was doing that on the vlogs, hey, what's up, guys? Um, today I'm just chilling. 
it's kind of boring. You, you got to give it the, what up guys, good morning, you know, to give it that extra energy so it's, so people actually want to watch the vlogs. Genghis Kwan definitely eats the whole chicken cartilage and all for sure because I'm Chinese. We eat all of that skin, cartilage, tendons, all that stuff. And uh, Abdub4077, you are richer than it seems. I don't know what that means. Um, cause I don't even know how I seem. I don't know if I seem like I'm a baller and then I'm actually a baller baller or do I seem regular and I'm a baller or I, I don't really know. I do, what I do know is that I don't believe in the rapper, uh, make it till you make it method. And the method, and one method I like to live my life by is if you can't afford two, you don't even buy one. So maybe I am richer than I seem because the only time I could buy, I go out and buy something. Uh, an old mentor taught me, like if you want two rollies, I mean if you want one rollie and it costs 10 G's, have 20 G's before you buy that so that you're always in the surplus and I always kept that in my mind. So everything that I can have, maybe that's why I'm not too uh, materialistic attached to the stuff that I have because the minute it goes, I can afford another one right away. Um, you are pregnant. No, uh, we're not. I don't think we are actually. Uh, baby grow all love 228. You're a wonderful father and husband and a positive role model to a lot of young people in the world. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that is true. Abdub 4077. Wow, Abdub 4077 left a lot. You are part Korean. I actually am. According to my 23andMe, I believe I am 3% Korean. So I am part Korean. And Abdub leaves another one. You want another son. Um, I, I honestly don't care if I have a, thank you so much for the feather. Thank you. I don't mind if I have a son or daughter, but I think for his sake, so that he could have a best bud to like freaking rough house with, I kind of do want another son. Do you want a brother or you want a sister? Hmm? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he wants a brother. Uh, Reed XU, you're super clumsy. Um, I'm not clumsy, but I'm not the most finesse dude. Like I do stub my toe, I do spill things, I do get things on my shirt. I don't think I'm clumsy, clumsy like like David or Julia per se. But I'm not the smoothest. But when it comes to like playing sports, I need to be surgical. I can be surgical though. Um, let's see. <laughs> this is funny. Alex Hugh Siong says. You like to poop with shades on. I've never, I don't think I've ever pooped with shades on, to be honest. I really don't think so. Uh, and I, the last, the last question goes to Chris Hernandez1. Asks, your immune system is horrible. How do you get sick so much? And that is so true. I have a very weak immune system. And I get sick at least once or twice a year. Especially if I'm competing in powerlifting because you're training so hard like in a 12, 14, 16 week camp and it fries your CNS to the point where it's really easy for your body to get sick, which is why I take multivitamins, which is why um, we're coming out with the Barbell Brigade pre-workout and guess what I'm putting in there? 500 milligrams of vitamin C per serving to keep your immunity up, which also fills your CNS. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it does yeah. it does suck to be honest. Like Gio, Gio got the those premium Mexican jeans and almost never gets sick. And I get sick at least once or twice a year, and it sucks. And so far, he's been pretty good. He's two, and he's only been sick one time. So he already has a better shh, he already has a better uh, track record than me. Thank you guys so much for the assumptions. It was super fun to see what you guys think about me. And uh, I can't wait to do another one if you guys want to. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do another assumptions one. Or if there's any other things that are kind of like this series. Like Bart hates. Bart loves. Bart's favorites. So I'd be down to do all that. But thank you guys so much. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.